I did a video earlier on this. I recorded it, but I didn't upload it. It was really long. I got the rambling, all the stuff. But what this video is about is how to install grease fittings on these lip arms where I installed mine. One right here. You can see squares out the side. Now, this one, I don't know what that's made out of. I've tried to drill it from the side and I've tried to drill it from the top. I don't know what that, it, it almost like it got heated at some other, some point. Where it's kind of cracked open there a little bit. I can't drill that. I, I don't know what, what's going on with that. I didn't try new drill bits and everything. All right. Here. What I'm trying, what I'm simply trying to do was put grease fittings on all of the points that that moves, because that's a major issue with these old farm malls. Is these? I'm gonna do a bit separate video how to tighten this up. I was, I was separate video how to shim it and tighten it. Right here, it's no good spot because you got three, basically three different wear points. You got one here, one in the middle, and one over here. I looked at it and looked at it and I said, you know, the ideal spot would be up here. Would be here somewhere. That's a big chunk of metal to drill through. I just went that simply went down here. Right in the center. You see grease oozed out that far, so it should be up in here somewhere. It didn't use that over here on either either side, but it's grease in the center from the top. You can see where it oozed out there and it oozed out here. So you got grease that far. I best it's gonna probably get. Alright. I you do not have to drop your lift arms. I did both sides <coughs> both ways. Put up my light around there. Trying not to ramble. I can get the other video, but it's going to end up looking. I'm going to get some rambling in this one. This one would not take grease. That pin is rusted in there. The person that brought it from a fertilizer drive on there, and then all this was just rusted up. That's why it's freshly painted. I took it apart, got all the rust off, got the bolts and all that. I dropped. I'm trying to get the light. Light. All right. I laid on my back. Took this one apart because I was thinking that it won't going to get in it. This one going to be thick enough. That piece of metal won't going to be thick enough to drill it and thread it deep enough without having to punch all the way through. But you don't have to take it off. I drilled that one right on the creeper laying on my back and threaded it. You can see what it does. It, that one did wonderfully. It smooshed the grease out of both sides on the bottom. I'm not worried about the top. They always wear on the bottom. Because when you're going forward, your pressure is on the bottom. It's not pushing. You're, you're pulling it back. You're pushing, the, you're pushing the frame back to the rear of the tractor going forward like that. So it always wears in the bottom piece. But anyway. You don't have to take frames off. You can drill them all four of them across the bottom and thread them. My little dog, she enjoyed me laying on that creeper because she laid on my chest the whole time. But anyway. Yeah, I'll show you what you need. Nothing really expensive. Nothing fancy. I had to ratchet it last one. Properly. Do that before I get started. I had to put a socket and a ratchet on that one there. Get that to go in straight. Drill. First things first. Pick your spot where you want your fitting. Pick your spot where you want to put your fitting at. Keep in mind when you're picking these spots, put your fittings. You need somewhere where you can put some pressure on a drill. I just use my little 12-volt Milwaukee drill. 
Keep in mind that. Don't get in a weird spot where you can't put no pressure. This stuff's pretty thick, but it's pretty easy to drill. That one piece is the only piece that would not drill. I don't, I tried new bits and everything. I don't, I don't know. That look like it's been heated or something in the past. I think when you heat metal, it tempers it. Something like that. But anyway, explain something else here. I went with, go with standard grease fitting. These are Harbor Freight. Five, six, seven bucks whole box. I use these little small ones. These numbers. The quarter inch TPI is standard boat thread. That's what you need to use. The smaller the hole you can drill, the better off you are. Harbor Freight. Just a quarter inch. This one's stuck in the socket. Like I said, I, I use this one. I had this ratchet at last one. All right. On the sizing chart, on the sizing chart, the bolt sizing chart, for threaders, it says use 1364, I think, bit. I can tell you now. It, it might work in soft metal. It wouldn't work in this one. You can't get the threader started. But take your punch. Punch your hole. Punch your spot where you want to start your drill with a punch like this here. Call center punch. You ain't got to be real aggressive. This is what this is the little hammer that I used. Yeah, it makes fun of this little kitty hammer. Believe it or not, I use this hammer more than I use any one of them because it's so small and gets in the tight spots. When you mess with something delicate, you just need that little little small tap. It comes in handy. All right, punch. You need the seven thirty seconds bit. Also, whole box of Harbor Freight, twenty bucks. I drilled all those holes. Minus that one, I can't get that. I drilled four across the bottom, five, six, seven. I drilled eight holes with this bit. Nine holes. I drilled nine holes. All of them are drilled, but this one. This is the only one that's not drilled. I'll work on that one later. Drill your hole. Seven thirty seconds drill bit. While you're drilling, take your time. Do not get in no big big hurry. If you're in a hurry, you got somewhere to go, or you want to try to rush through it, don't even tempt this. Because you know you you spend more time going by more drill bits than you would actually getting work done. Take your time. Thirty seconds to a minute. Shot a WD forty on that bit so you don't burn it up. Do this if you plan on using this tractor a lot. If you plan on using this tractor a lot. And you plan on keeping it. You need to get this done because most of all these parts that's being wore out from no grease or no oil on them. Are no longer available. First store track do sell a little bit, but it ain't much and it's extremely expensive. Because it's that deal, I know what I have deal. Alright, you drill your hole. I take a hammer. And I drive that thing in there till it's tight. Then I put the T-handle on it. I put the T-handle on it and I thread it in. Thread it until it stops. You don't have to go real deep for that because it ain't it ain't much there is on that thing. This is a grease fitting when I hold an engine block together. It's, it ain't much there. You ain't gotta be real deep with it. That's why I said you didn't have to, I didn't have to take them arms off. I didn't you don't have to. You can thread all of these, including that one. Including that one. I'm gonna do a separate video how to tighten them arms up. But you can you thread all of these without you taking on the arms off. That metal is plenty, plenty thick enough. Once you bottom out, bottom you bit out to the pin, bottom you thread her out. That's plenty. You see that 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 fitted that fitting is flush. Well, I'll show you this one. Mm. This one I did not take off. Let me see if I can get the camera in here. That one I did not take off. I don't know what that's gonna look like. I can't see the camera. But anyway, I did not take that one off. No, this one, and they're nice and flush. I didn't take none of the part, just drill it. It's plenty thick enough. But anyhow, 730 seconds bit, center punch. You ain't got to go gung-ho. You ain't got to go get snap-on and expensive bits and all that. Harbor Freight. 
all this stuff, Harbor Freight. The drill bits of Harbor Freight, $20 for the huge box. Harbor Freight hammer. One thing I don't have is Harbor Freight power tools. I like Milwaukee. I got everything red. Anyway, um, I play on using the tractor. I use the tractor for a whole lot of stuff. I do some separate breakdown videos on what I, what I, my thoughts on what you can do with it, what you can't do with it. I push this thing to the limit. When you look up some of my bush hogging videos, but um, that's all this to it. If you're playing keeping this tractor, you're gonna use it a lot. You're gonna use a center lift. You need to get grease fittings on all these, all these uh moving points, especially those at the bottom. Especially those. Nothing to it. Just center punch. 730 seconds drill bit. Drill it. Then take a hammer, tap your tap your threader in there and get it started. Tap beat beat the threader down in there and get it started because it's tapered on the end. It's tapered. See, it's tapered on the end. Get it started. Screw it down in there until it stops. When it stops, don't force it. Back it back out. You don't need much stress for grease fitting. Do not use the eighth of an inch. You got to drill a big hole and you got to have a pipe thread, which I have. Matter of fact, this is a quarter inch one. Pipe thread and bolt thread is totally different. That's a quarter inch bolt thread. This is a quarter inch pipe thread. What does that tell you? It's a big difference. Do not use the eighth of an inch. Use a quarter of an inch. Bigger hole, more metal coming out. Don't use it. Use a small one. Whole lot easier to deal with. I do. I got another separate video I'm gonna do on these wheels. Thanks for watching.